The first fidget toy we're going to look at comes in this neat little storage case. It's this really nice little metal spinner. It's made out of brass, and it's got four gears which mesh with each other and rotate in unison. Give it a little spin, and it glides around smoothly. It's a thing of beauty, and it feels really well made. It's a great little thing to play with if you're stressed or anxious. And what's really nice is you can even unscrew these thumb caps and dismantle the whole thing. Here's a gear with a bearing inside, and this shaft slides out too. You can see how well it's been made. It really is precision machining. Here's a little washer and another bearing, and you can unscrew these too so it breaks down all into individual components. It really is great if you like fiddling. Then, when you're ready, you can just rebuild it and put it all back together. A bit like a puzzle. Pretty cool, huh? Perfect to have a play with and relieve any stresses or anxiety. The next one I'm going to look at is this fidget cube. It comes in a nice little box, and when we open it up and remove the packaging, this is what we've got. It's this really cool activity cube, and each one of the six sides has something different to fiddle with. The box says we have click, spin, flip, guide, roll, and breathe. There's this thumbstick we can play with and push. This switch that we can flip back and forward. These five little buttons to click. This circular disc that we can spin. This side's all about rolling. There's these dials that click when we rotate them. They're a bit like a combination padlock. And this large ball that we can roll our thumb over. And the final side's got this divot, which is really nice to glide your thumb across. It feels quite soothing. And the whole thing is a really cool fidget toy. You can play around with it for ages. It's definitely stimulating. The next one we're going to look at also comes in a handy little storage case. Open it up and there's actually a few items inside. The main thing are these two metal hammers. Then there's some additional metal pieces and this plastic fidget spinner. So the hammers are actually miniature versions of Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. For some reason the inscription on this one is upside down, but we can change that later. These are actually spinners too, and there's bearings in the top. So we can grip the handle and spin the top. It's got a fair bit of weight, which means when we do spin it, it keeps the momentum and carries on spinning for a long time. Plus, who knows when you might need a hammer on your desk. And another thing that's really cool is, in a similar way to the last spinner, we can remove the handle by unscrewing it, and they supply us with another thumb plate. So we can screw that in to replace the handle, then hold it in between our thumb and index finger to use as a more conventional spinner. Ah, <laughs> feel the stress disappearing. I really do like it, and it does feel well balanced. Mine came as a two-pack with this really cool gold version of the hammer too. So you could keep one at home and have one in the office. Although they are fun to use together too. It definitely is a bit of a quirky desk toy, a little bit different. And the other thing that came in the pack was this yellow triangular fidget spinner. Nothing new here, but always good fun to play with for a little. Next I'm going to show you this massive bag I bought online which contains 27 items altogether. Once I'd removed the packaging and placed them in order, this is what we've got. You can see a lot of them are duplicates of the same thing, so I guess they could be handy if you wanted to give them out at a kid's party or something. Let's take a look and see what we've got. The first thing I noticed was this gift bag they gave us to keep them all in, or you could use it if you're giving them all away. The next thing that caught my eye was this stress relief popper on a keychain. You can just push the bubbles through to pop out on the other side. It makes a nice little noise, and it is really satisfying. It comes with this carabiner, so you can hook it onto something. Or if you like, you could just remove it and keep it in your pocket. I found it strangely addictive to use. It really is satisfying. The next thing I'm going to look at are these really cool massage rings. They're stretchy, but they are quite firm. And the idea is to roll them over a finger. And it's like a really cool massage. They're elasticated so they can fit most people, and to be honest, I found they feel amazing. Rolling them up and down a finger makes it feel a bit tingly, but really satisfying. This kit came with five, so I can put one on each digit, and roll them back and forth together. It feels quite relaxing, a really nice massage. I'm keeping these on my desk, and I've been using them while I edit this video. The next thing we're going to look at is this. It's called an infinity cube. 
It's made up of eight small cubes which are linked together, and it can be folded and twisted in all sorts of directions. Again, it's a satisfying little thing, it's fun to play with. You can just hold it in one hand while you rotate it and move it to make a cube, then fold it flat again. I found myself getting into a nice little rhythm with it. It's a cool little toy. The next thing to look at are these wacky track fidget toys. They're chains made of high quality plastic, and they can be bent and twisted into all sorts of shapes. You can remove them to shorten them, or join the ends together. You can make them into all sorts of fun and novel designs or join them together with another chain to make a really long one. When you start playing with them, you get a bit transfixed, trying to work out something fun to make. You can take a couple of different ones and interlink them. The next one we're going to look at is this mesh tube with a marble inside. You can squeeze it together, and pull it, and slide the marble back and forth inside. You can bend it and twist it, and generally just fidget with it. It's nice and quiet, and again it's a cool little toy, it'll definitely hold your attention for a while. Next we're going to look at these monkey noodles. They're super stretchy, you can pull them and twist them and wrap them around your hands, squidge them together and do all sorts. They are so stretchy. But using all four together is really cool. You can twist them around each other and plait them, Pull and squeeze them, squidge them in your hand, and they feel really cool. They're a nice sensory toy. And they're easy to unravel when you've finished playing with them. The next thing we're going to try are these pop tubes. They stretch right out, and they make a fantastic sound. You can fold them and twist them and bend them, and move them into all sorts of fun shapes. You can link the ends together and make a circle, or join multiple ones together. This way you can make a really nice big circle, and stretching them out is great fun. Again, they're a great sensory toy, they feel and sound really good, and they can help to develop fine motor skills. Next we're going to look at these pop fidget toys. Is it supposed to be R2-D2 and Yoda? I'm not sure, but they are really cool. It's a bit like reusable bubble wrap. Just push the bubbles down, and you get a slight popping sound. They invert to the other side, so you can flip it over, and start doing the same again. It's nice because you get a little bit of sound, but it's not too noisy. And next we're going to look at these Moji fidgets. They're really cute, and they're super squidgy and flexible. You can pull them and stretch them and squidge them, and it's a good little workout for your fingers. They spring back to their natural shape every time, and they're quite addictive to play with. Another great fidget toy. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, you can click on the links. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.